Well, hi everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Drunkards and Dragons. A game where we roll some dice and have some drinks and try to die to either of those things. Uh, before we get started, because I've been told I'm not saying this enough, apparently, um, uh, we can be subscribed to now. Um, and so if you want to toss us a couple bucks, that'd be fantastic. Uh, just watching is plenty enough, don't worry. Um, but if you're kind of tied on cash, but you want to help out anyways, uh, if you have Amazon Prime, for example, um, you can subscribe to the channel for free. And then uh, if you're a student, I believe you're eligible for something called Student Prime, which is either a discount or something you just get free of. So that'll give you access to Twitch Prime, or Amazon Prime, and then you sus we can subscribe to our channel every month. Uh, they don't refresh automatically, so if you are subscribing, um, just make sure you're on that refresh. Um, I think that's the only important announcement I have. Uh, so we'll get into what happened last week. So, last week, after being held prisoners for a month in the drought prison cells, uh, both uh, Alexia and Ithlin resisted for the most part and had a much less comfortable time there than Varys, who obeyed and did what he had to to survive Varys. in order to find his moment to escape. Mm -hmm. Um, finally, in an act of outrage and protest, Ithlan refused to fight even for his life. And so, as an ultimate act of destruction, as well as an act of obedience, they put him before uh, Varys, his former comrade, and commanded Varys kill him. Thanks to some very good bluffing uh, and performing, uh, they were able to trick their captors into giving them a weapon, and they were able to fight back against them. Uh, allowing them to reclaim their equipment, reclaim their abilities, get the collar off of them that was sealing their magical abilities. And they fought their way through the stronghold and rescued Alexia, who joined them on their pursuit. Um, as they made their way through the compound, uh, they discovered more slaves that were set free, uh, as well as a secret compartment in the compound that seemed to be hidden even from all the other drow. Um, as they came down the pathway, they found a lab of some kind with multiple uh, instructions for using uh, opening portals and using different uh, circles to summon forth different things. Um, and in this lab, they found the journal of Hylina, where it showed that she had been planning this elaborate way to summon forth uh, something onto this plane for quite a while, and that the only thing she was lacking was a significant enough power source to do so. Um, after they fought their way through the security and into the summoning stone area itself, uh, they fought Kylina, who halfway through the battle opened some kind of portal and was possessed by some kind of entity on the other side. Um, as the portal began growing more and more and devouring parts of this uh, stronghold, uh, they discovered they should attack the crystal instead, and once the crystal was destroyed, uh, the portal closed very sporadically. Uh, with that, they took their vengeance on Kylina, and that's where we're picking up right now. All right. I don't know about you guys, but I'm exhausted. <laughs> Already on it as I'm sitting in the corner playing. <laughs> oh, I like became unconscious last time. I'm like low HP. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm uh sitting in a corner because I'm. I'm in bad shape. <laughs> so I'm, I'm resting. Uh, as you do so, you find yourself subconsciously just moving your hand into whatever compartment or pouch that holds the crystal you picked up. Mm. And you just kind of subconsciously move your hand to it and begin kind of running your finger over it. And you hear these whispers invade your mind. Uh, what do I hear? You hear various uh, things such as uh, summon me forth and I will allow you to gain your vengeance. You will have what you seek when I am on above this plane. Is it like a like a one way thing? Can I talk back to it or is it just like in my it's just in my head? It's definitely in your head. You can try and talk if you want to. Mm -hmm. uh, it just depends how you want to do it. Do you want to try and speak out or try and like mind message or something back or yeah, like if it's it's clearly just like in my head, so it's it's mm -hmm. contacting me somehow. So I'm gonna try and it's just these eerie whispers that kind of replay themselves over mm -hmm. and over again. 
Hmm. Okay. Um, well, I'm just going to, just kind of like in my head, I'm just going to say, like, uh, show me the way, like, lead me, what must I do? And do I hear anything yet? Oh, you don't hear anything other than those things. Okay. I'd like to backtrack into the lab and rest where there's not a bunch of bodies. There's the big Spider-Man in there, though. In the, I thought it was like outside. It's in the lab, yeah. Oh. <coughs> yeah, it's just like right on the other side of the door. Like where we That's are. True. What's just outside of the lab? The, the pathway leading down here. So I'd be like sleeping downstairs. Mm hmm. What is that little like room off to the side with like the, uh, all the books and stuff? Probably yeah, hanging out there. Oh, that's true. I'll go to one of those and sleep. Oh. And I tell these guys where I'm going. Okay. Like, I just crash. Like, um, okay. I continue playing my music. Good luck sleeping. <laughs> Ooh, actually, before I go to sleep, I like to go up the stairs to make sure, like, the secret door that we found is closed, so no one, like, there's a very okay. minimal chance of people finding us, and we can actually just, like, sleep. Okay. That's not a terrible idea. You do so. You kind of... Not entirely sure how it was opened in the first place as the panel disappeared. Um, uh, when you get near it again, the spider in your pack begins to resonate with it. Okay. If I feel it rustling, I like reach in my pack for it and kind of just like hold it in my hand. Like, okay. So it animates itself again and begins crawling up and down your arm and like onto <laughs> the walls and it creates a web above in the thin air and then that creates a solid panel. And then it becomes an anime again. Okay. Then I catch it. Okay. <laughs> put it in my bag. And go back to the little cubby in the lab that hopefully has no dead things and just a bunch of books. Okay. And I curl up and go to sleep. Okay. Lulled to bed. Oh. By Varys' playing, if I can still hear it. Okay. That's a faint, just loop playing. <laughs> if he's not terrible at it. I don't know how well he's doing right now. His song of rest is fine. Okay, cool. Then I'd like to sleep for at least eight hours. <laughs> you guys can get the full rest at this point. Oh. Yeah. Very good. I say we do that. Uh, so the smell of blood lingers in the air, and as well as the events that transpired, the suckling sound of tentacles sliming against you, and the cold darkness that you all experienced, uh, it's hard to just block that out. But eventually, you guys drift off to sleep. Uh, I meditate. <laughs> okay. I don't sleep. Okay. I don't have to do that. <laughs> you halfies. <laughs> eventually, you guys find comfort and you're able to rest. <clears throat> uh, you awaken, though, to the smell of corpses. Definitely ripe at this point. And you come to and look at the room and again kind of just take in what happened and most of it is just gone. There's just nothing there anymore. Um, whatever wall it was carved into, there's just this smooth, huge part of it just gone. Mm. Boy, that is pungent. <laughs> um, this might be a long shot, but I'd like to quickly investigate, like, see if I can find a book about the stone, so I can get in to see if there's information about how to replenish its power. Okay. Uh, I'll say you spend time doing that, and it's mostly just research notes about other things. Okay. How much would I know with that being part of my background? Part of your background, um, you, knew, you knew enough about it, but not the ancient details that go into it. It's okay. not something that 
people are permitted to really know most of the time. Okay, fair enough. And so I make a mental note that when we get to the mirror to try and persuade people to let me into the library or speak to the elders to like assess the status of the stone and figure out how to bring it back to Did it. Did they ever let me in there? The library? Uh, I don't remember. Probably not, no. Those bastards. <laughs> Yeah. I remember that I wanted that so bad. Yeah, you you were enough of a commoner that you weren't <clears throat> permitted beyond it. Alright, well, feeling replenished, I go back to the horrible smelling area and wake up. That it's I didn't leave for some reason. I, I am awake. And yes, I agree that it is time to go. However, I... Require some materials. Oh. I need a jar. Well, we're in a lab. Sure a jar. A very large jar. Preferably with a lid. For what? With a lid. <laughs> to take my trophy. Which and you oh. see my eyes dart to Kylina's head. <laughs> it's halfway up her bum. <laughs> Why do you want it? Uh... I feel that the people of Amira deserve to see the head of the betrayer. He's got a good point. They may not believe us. Do you guys have her diary that explains her whole plan? Yes. We do, but we could also. But I would be love to bring back and proof throw of the her tale. head into like town square and just let it roll down the stairs in, a, in front of everyone. Do you have a way of preserving it though? So it's gonna be magic. I no, but <clears throat> I hope that we might. Be able to return in time before it. Even more incentive to get back faster. Before it uh, <laughs> starts getting too gross. Too right. right. So I would like to look for a jar large enough to fit her head in. I will assist sure. him in looking for the jar. It doesn't take you as much time. You're in a lab. There's all kinds of beakers Told and you. chemicals and vials <laughs> and all kinds of different component pouches and things of that nature. There's just a lot of materials in here. Ooh. Um, Just pick her head up and like. I would also like to look for um, <laughs> any chalks and inks. Yeah, you find a whole drawer full of both those things. Do they all look the same, or is there any special ones? They definitely seem to be uh, expensive. Mm. Do they look like they perhaps were infused with gems? Make an account check. Wait, you said there were Does books about... Does that make ink more useful? <laughs> if you use an arcana check? I... No, if it was infused with gems? I, I need it for something. Oh. That's a Ooh. 20. Yes. Yeah. For what you spent the night looking at and reading and trying to recount the details of, you, you, these will suffice. Ooh. What color is the chalk? Uh, it's kind of an onyx black color, and then it's got silver inlay wrapped all around it. Very nice. It's very and fancy. And the ink? The ink is clear, but when you pick it up, it kind of like a snow globe. It just kind of like sparkles different colors, and then it goes back to clear. All right, all right. So you mentioned there were books about how to use portals and stuff, and like opening them. Mm-hmm. I'd like to find one of those books and research how to get us out of here. <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. Uh, given your abilities, um, what you've looked over already, it it's just things about things that don't make sense. You you, don't, you have no idea what the abyssal plane is, but it's something about that. You have no idea what um, plane hopping even means. It's just various different things about how to pull something from one dimension to another. You know. The most useful book I, on that fact is something that Lynn already has in his possession. That none of you know about. <clears throat> <laughs> I might be able to get us out of here. But at the same time, the thing could go horribly wrong. Oh, wonderful. And I just want to know how much you guys trust me. This came to me in a dream. Oh. Define... Horribly wrong. I believe that I I should be capable of creating 
a circle on the ground that will allow us to leave this place and appear elsewhere. But this is really the first time I've ever done something like this, and I've never really seen any other circles, so I'm just going to hope that we end up in the right place. Um, maybe if you let me hold on to the stone, the, uh, the, the stone that we came here for. The will let me, of the land. Yes. Let me feel the will of the land, and maybe it will help me, help draw me to the mirror, and we'll end up there. And if not, um, it was nice knowing you guys. <laughs> but it's either this or we try and walk out of here. So your plan is to teleport us from here to the Mira. Hopefully, or yes. Or we die in the process. Possibly. Honestly, we'd never be able to get out of here on foot anyway. I have no idea where we even go. Uh, yeah. Time is of the essence. I reach in, grab the crystal, hand it to him. All right. It's become more of a clear gem than something sparkly at this point. It still holds some kind of sparkle in it, but it's mostly lifeless. I would like to hold the crystal in my hands and then sit down and start meditating. Okay. And I want to like. Kind of like draw from it, like Vimira, and like focus on Vimira while I'm holding it okay. for thirty minutes. Okay. You do so. All right. Is it like a catalyst, or like something that's specifically connected to Vimira in hopes of getting us to the right place? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Alright, I think you can have this back. <laughs> I, I have the, the elven dress attire from our time in Vimira. If it's like Vimira and Maid, could draw you to Vimira. Alright, everyone. Stand oh, close okay. to me. I take the crystal and put it in my And head. I take the inks and the chalk. And I, oh gosh. I begin drawing the circle around us. Okay. How big is the shard of Hadar that I have? Uh, fits in your palm. Okay. Hey, if Varys draws the circle, you let him draw it. <laughs> go ahead and draw your circle, Varys. Oh, actually draw it? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Is it the the circle from Adventure Time with the smiley face on it? Um, uh, looks like that. Okay. And I cast the spell as I draw the circle. Okay. The circle begins to light up around your feet. Go ahead and make a spell attack. Alright. So it says that a portal <sighs> will appear in the center of the circle that we walk through. If you do it right, yeah. <laughs> Alright, using the new dice. Oh, man. Here we go. What a time to break them in. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Not terrible. 20 something. That is the past that passes the DC I had for it. So the portal hums to life, and at first it's a small itty bitty bead, and then it just <laughs> appears, and it kind of envelops all of you, and you see this bright light, and you all feel the same sensation of dimension hopping as you when you went to the Feywilds. You feel like you're pulled and pushed in every single direction possible, and your vision gets clouded and swirly and. Then you get that same feeling as if you've been pushed something through like a, a rush of high wind. And then you're in a white wooden chapel. Uh, lots of vines everywhere. The architecture looks familiar. You come into being in smoke and, and sparks kind of whoosh everywhere. I land on my butt. <laughs> um, I land very like powerfully. 
mentally and just like, and then stand up. <laughs> I catch myself. Several elves come forward and draw their weapons. Wait. What time of day is this? Because <laughs> I was going to say, we've been underground for months. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Uh, They're blinded by the light. I don't know. <laughs> what, what, you guys took your rest, so what time would you like it to be? What time do you want to attempt this? You can get the feeling underground for what it is, so... Dawn. Oh god, okay. Sure, uh, dawn, because you're the first person that said something. I don't want. Okay. Why can't it be dawn? Sure. God, Fierce, speak up. I feel like it's going to still be dark out, and then over the horizon the sun's going to come up and my eyes are going to explode out of my head. I mean, if you were a completely light-based creature, you've had dark vision this whole time, so... Yeah. It's been alright. So, you see yourselves in the familiar, uh, or see them with the familiar Vamir and the Tire as they draw their weapons and have those large tower shields present. How did you access the circle? Where are you from? Who are you? Speak! Where, where are we? <laughs> you are in the, the palace of Amira. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I can't believe it. We're not dead. You may very well be, if you don't state your presence. I pull out the crystal and hold it above us triumphantly. And say, we are the adventurers who left to bring the, the will of the land back to Vamira after the traitorous Kylina stole it. Behold! And I hold up the jar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, make Yeesh. a per- persuasion check with advantage. Who? Uh, one of you. Whoever wants to. Mm, you're probably better at it. Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> Uh, persuasion? It's yeah. just a 29. <laughs> 29. No biz. Um, <laughs> as you say this, they they nod to each other briefly, but they keep their weapons drawn, and they go, Those adventures left seven months ago. <laughs> Dude, I look so much older. Fuck. They don't even recognize me. Well, when... I aged 40 years ago? No, 60 years. When you have to go through other dimensions to get to your destination, things, time can progress in strange matters, or in strange ways. Uh, the two of us, some, I don't recall it exactly, but from what I'm told, something forcibly aged me and her. Her more than me, but... Unfortunately, yes. But it, it is us. Uh, I am Varys Galanadel. This is Alexia, the champion of Andon, and this is you, you know uh, Flynn. And the blood heir to the throne. I wouldn't bring that up. I nope. <laughs> oh, what was what was the one lady's name? Awen. Yes. Bring us to Awen. Awen will will let you know that it is us. For sure. I'd also like to ask her for a greater restoration spell. <laughs> <laughs> to get rid of this one wrinkle that I developed. Awen currently resides over all the other priests. If anyone will decide to do with you, I'll be her. Good. Oh, so Alright then. I take this to her. Stand up. <laughs> Lead the way, fellows. Have you your butt this whole time? Huh? Yeah, <laughs> you never said he stood up. Mm-hmm. I landed on my butt and I was just like, Behold! From the ground. The head of yeah. Just kept it at eye level. It's alright. <clears throat> uh, so first they request you relinquish your weapons. Uh, I don't have any, so that doesn't matter. I do so. Are hey. you telling me they don't recognize my mother's armor that I'm wearing? I hand them the one scimitar that is in the sheath as the other one is currently missing. Okay. Floating in an extra dimensional space. Oh god. Yeah, both of mine are. Alright, well in the future specify that. Uh, I give them my bow. Okay. Uh, you also have a backpack full of dry weapons as I remember. 
Oh yeah, they wow, take that guys. stuff from me. Mm. Nice. I gave those to other people. Oh yeah, when we freed the prisoners. We gave them swords and told mm. them where the armory was. Yep, yep, yep. Mm. I wonder if they got out alive. <laughs> yeah, as we're walking, I'm just like, it is so good to be up here where the air is fresh and not dank and moist and dark. Have any of you been to the Underdark before? It's not a very pleasant place. They ignore you. Yeah, they're so afraid. Uh, they bring you into the throne room where you uh, fought uh, the king before. And they have you sit there. Uh, it's actually been cleaned up since last time you guys were here. Oh, good. The uh, decor has been fixed and all the corruption has been cleaned from the place. Uh, they bring you here and you guys wait for a good 30 minutes before anyone comes. So and uh, you hear that very, very familiar... Uh, straight to the point voice. She goes, you'd better have a good reason for waking me up. What is she sleeping in here for? It's dawn, you said. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I figured she'd be, she'd have like her own home. And where's Meriden? I have a list of things for him to do. Uh, I'm not sure where he is, but uh, it's good to see you too, Ewen. <laughs> he has actually survived. Not only did we survive, and I put the jar. <laughs> the betrayer is dead, and I reach into my head. The crystal is retrieved, though lacking luster, which we hope you can help restore the power. Uh, she runs up to you and like kind of gently like cups it, and she's just like, "I never thought I'd wow. see this again." Grabby. Is there any way to restore it? Only time, really. We'll have to fend for ourselves for a while before power can be restored. But it's not destroyed, and that's something. Whatever happens next, at least you did that. Yes. Yes, um... It would appear that the reason that Kylina did all of this was to summon some being from another dimension to try and have it come to this world, she... Some petty rivalry with other families in the other dark. She wanted revenge on them. And is being promised to give her that vengeance, so... This is... That was the entire reason, um... I believe somebody has her journal? You yes. Do I have it? I don't have it marked You're down. You're the one who read it. <laughs> I read it, but I never took it. Oh. Did no one take it? I could have sworn that you put it in your bag of holding. I have a drow longsword and a spider. Oh. And other things. Well, we must have forgotten that. <laughs> no one has that. But her head's here. <laughs> <clears throat> nope. Nope. Cut that off myself. No journal. Would it be a burden for you to <laughs> conduct a greater restoration spell? How do you even know what that is? Okay, fine. Is there a way for you to age me back <laughs> 60 years? <laughs> Some I attempt to use voodoo. prestidigitation on you to make you more beautiful. <laughs> Already goddamn beautiful. I just want to be younger. <laughs> back to my original state. Normally such magic can only be reversed in a span of 24 hours. When did this happen to you? Um, probably sometime around seven months ago. <laughs> Shortly after we entered the Underdark. Apparently we've been gone for seven months. All help is lost. I'll just fall to the ground and cry. I will don't have, worry, I'll fix you later. I'm not sure. I'll have my clerics attempt something, but I cannot promise anything. Mm. Did you well. forget that I'm proficient with the disguise kit? I can make you look fabulous. I don't want a disguise. <laughs> it's called makeup. Age cream. Uh -huh. Age cream. 
anything you can do would be appreciated. Well, so nobody food? has the journal. No. Apparently, no one uh, nope. took it. So. <laughs> Damn I mean, this is what happens when you drink and play games. You forget to write things down. <laughs> Chat, do you remember who took the journal? Right, I, wrote, I wrote everything else down. I got a spidey mask, and a wand, and a crystal, and boots. Well, Varys read it. Long sword. I remember that. I know, he's the only one who understand it. understood it. I was reading it, but I never, I never said that I took it, <laughs> or wrote down that I have it. And I have a spider. You knew I have a spider. I had everything spider. else. <laughs> All you had to do was grab the journal. I have that infernal tome. I wrote that down. But I didn't take the journal. Alright, that's fine. It was oh, just guys. to make sure you guys didn't get executed. It's not a big deal. Um, if the infernal guess. tome, wasn't that what it was written in? Or no? No. That's a different book. Well, you have the head of Kylina in the will of the land. That much is appreciated. But without proof of her misdeeds, oh, I'm afraid you're not clear of a trial. Mm. But this will help. Trial? Why would we be tried? You are still wanted for the murder of our king. Ah! As, as well as the death of your father and everyone involved. I see. You also uh, seemingly vanished seven months ago, so that's... Didn't she help us vanish? She did. God damn it. But, uh... That's cool. I think she also said that she had nothing else to do with it. And she wouldn't help us any further. Fucking all the time. As for you guys, you deserve a, a well, well long rest. Um, I will not have you imprisoned. I will make sure that you can at least stay in Galana Del Manor. Although well, you may you may find it less comforting than it was last time. Oh great, they ransacked it. Is there a library here? Potentially. Are you asking that? Or? Yeah. Is there one? There are tomes about our legend and history. Hmm. I'm gonna hang out in the library. You're gonna try to hang out in the library. We can see if we can arrange something once your name is cleared. For now, mm. allowing you to wander the halls freely would be a mistake. Hmm. Any other questions? Will food be provided, or do we need to gather that on our own? I'll have food sent to you. Very well. It's the least I can do. Then we'll be on our way to Galana Del Manor. Did you want to keep that? And I point to the head. <laughs> I'll find a use for it. Very well. Um, I would like to reach into the jar Ew. and pluck one of her hairs. Ew. Okay. Do you do so? Just in my pocket. Okay. Hmm. I head off to the manor. You head off? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Uh, you are escorted there. Okay. Uh, I can find my own way. You're escorted there, and they have to take several chains off of the door and locks, and they open it for you, and they give you the key, and I believe this belongs to you. Yes. Yes, it does. You should write that down. <laughs> Key to my house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you guys enter, it is barren. Um, everything was taken for evidence prior, but now there are no pieces of art on the wall, no, uh, no fixtures or sculptures or any, even really furniture. It is abandoned for all intents and purposes. Well, guys, make yourselves at home. I go up to the room that I was originally staying in to see what's in there. Baron. Can I have to take a bath? Is there water? There's a bath, but there's no water. 
I'm gonna use prestidigitation to unsoil myself. <laughs> okay. Ew. You clean out your armor. <laughs> I'm gonna use this spell all the time. <laughs> Do I have to like bring water up to the tub and like? There's no flooding, so. No servants. No servants. I have an unseen servant. Do you give him a name? <laughs> no, he's not good enough for that. Shall we land well, our servants? Then I'm just gonna sleep. <clears throat> okay, you curl up on the floor. Wonderful. This place. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to go around the entire house and just see what is, if anything, is there. Nothing. It's like a new new home. There's nothing there. It's clean, but there's nothing Ooh, there. Ooh, but there'd be nothing to impede an investigation for trick doors or secret doors. Sure. I go into the room that was... Um, I wake up from my brief nap. <laughs> <laughs> um, did Kylina and... Do you guys already search for doors before? That was the first thing you guys did. What? I mean, you can look again, but I just want to oh, remind no. you, you already no. did. Pretty much there's nothing there. Okay. Or I failed my rolls, I don't remember. <laughs> it's okay. Gonna take my stuff off <gasps> and... Sit up against the wall and rummage through my stuff and pull out a book and I begin reading the tome. Okay. What I'm reading that infernal book that the I The Tome have. of Leadership and Influence. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, I take this spider out of my bag of holding and walk around the house holding it to see if it like reacts to anything. How long do you do it? I don't know, as long as it takes to get around a manor. Okay. So you walk for about 30 minutes, hands outstretched, and no response. It's an animate object. Alright. Did Kylina and Island? Yeah? Yes? Mr. Galanado? <laughs> His papa? <laughs> papa? Uh, do they have, like, separate offices? Like... Like area, like bedrooms, areas that they went to. They share the bedroom. They're different estate or offices. I go to Kylina's office and just sit there with the spider. And you do so. Just like put it on the ground, and like push it to see if it does anything. Come on, little guy. Doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Frustrated, I just lay there. Okay. <laughs> anything else? Uh, you don't glean much more information from the Infernal book. Um, it gives you various information on uh, the different layers of hell, the Nine Hells in particular, um, as well as that to summon forth a demon of particular power, you need something that connects them to this world. Mm. So you would need something to draw them here, as well as it takes an immense amount of power to open a portal. You mean like that thing I have already? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. That phylactery I have. <coughs> Cough. Phylactery? Yeah. The Shard of Padar? Oh. Oh, okay. I have my, my brother's phylactery. Oh, his ashes? I assume? Or? No, it's just like a silver. Was he a lich? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't. <laughs> we talked about this, but it's been a while. I, I didn't it's know funny. he was a lich. That's well, he's like a really powerful, um, like, demonologist. Okay. So. We'll have to talk about that. <laughs> uh, but that's, you finished the book at that point. Um, it's, it's various instructions for different circles and how to augment them to withstand more power as well as pump more mm -hmm. power through them. Um, it just takes a large amount to summon something to this plane. Yeah. As well as it's not as simple as simply opening the portal. Um, with enough power you could, but with no destination or any purpose in particular, it, you there's no telling where it would open up. And then yeah. for especially powerful demons, you need to know their name before you can pull them onto this plane. And that's the problem I have. Mm -hmm. Yes? 
Um, so I want to get in the mind of the spider people. And so I want to put the spidey mask on, as well as the boots that I have. And put the wand in my hand and just kind of like sit there in like a meditative position, trying to get in the mind of Kaizen. You can attune to one item at a time. Oh, so I have to attune to them. Mm -hmm. To all three? Uh, the wand, no. Okay. So I will take... I'll take the copper bracers and the cloak off. Okay. Put the mask and the boots on and just sit there long enough to figure out what they do. Okay. Um, so the mask, you discover um, that when it comes to any kind of web-like surface that would usually impede movement, um, you can just walk on it like it's normal. So webs that would be difficult to train are no longer difficult to train. Yes. Okay. And you're not impeded by them. Um, only for webbing though. Things spider related. And then um, the boots, you discover that when you invoke them you can walk on walls. Ooh. Oh. So you have uh, boots of spider climbing. Do I feel any power coming from the wand when I hold it? There's a switch on it. I flip the switch. Okay, you flip the switch. Um, a gout of web shoots up at your face. <laughs> Correct. Okay, <laughs> I take the web off. <laughs> um, I hold it towards a wall. Okay, he just <laughs> shoots a web onto it. <laughs> you better I clean that. <laughs> what the fuck did you know? I flip the switch and turn it off. Flipping the switch just activates it. Otherwise, oh, okay. it doesn't so do anything. Just like... Yeah. Oh, so okay. it has cool. two charges. Okay. So two bursts of whip. Mm hmm. Um, one charge responds every 24 hours. And the DC is 13 for its effects. Interesting. Hmm. Should you... So, people inside the web suffer the same penalties as web, and then should the DC for it is 13 to see if they suffer web. And recharge one per 24 hours? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Well, I have no use for... Hmm any of this right now, so I take them off, put them in my bag of holding, and read okay. a tune to my other stuff. Sure. So you spend a couple hours doing all that. It's interesting. How long do you read and do you sleep mm -hmm. at all? Mm -hmm. Well, we, we got here at dawn and then waited like a half hour yeah. in the castle, so it's like... A few hours have gone by at this point. So still it's morning? Probably closer to like 8 o'clock, yeah. Oh, like 8 p.m.? 8, 8 a.m. Oh, 8 a.m.? Yeah, it's still early in the day, but I just wonder how long you read. Uh, if nothing happens all day and we're just sitting in in my house, uh, I read for like 12 hours. And okay. Take like an hour break halfway through for food. Okay. Uh, as you read it, um, the words begin to evaporate off the pages as you do so. After you read every word and every sentence, it speaks about uplifting your comrades and telling them how what a great job they're doing. And if you want results, you've got to be willing to get your hands dirty. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm good on the get my hands dirty part. I just need to tell my comrades, like, good boy and good girl, Mar. <laughs> so inspirational. Uh-huh. I'd like to attune to my quiver instead of the bracers. Okay. So I swap those out. Cool. Um, around midday, there's a knock at your door. Just a moment as I'm like trying to finish reading like one of the paragraphs. Mm-hmm. 
take Kylina's hair out of my pocket <laughs> and use it as a bookmark. Okay. I go to the door. Uh, you open the door and Mirrodin is there with like a bowl full of food and he's like, Oh, you're really alive. I had no idea. Ah, oh, Mirrodin. It's uh... You are a sight for sore, sore eyes. For sore, for sore eyes. <laughs> Why yes. would you be Indeed. asked to come here if we weren't alive? Well, you know, it's, you've been gone so long, and I had no idea, really. And can I can I put this down? It's really heavy. I take the bowl from him and walk away. <laughs> yeah, sure, come on in. And start eating. Oh, I have a list of other things I gotta do for Awen, but I'm glad you're not dead. Oh, well, how long are your lists now? Well, ever since she became sort of in charge of this place since we have to find a new king and everything or queen you know whoever uh i've taken over her old responsibilities so I'm, I'm doing a lot well if you've taken over her old responsibilities does that mean you also have an apprentice now <clears throat> i wish well better get to it bye <laughs> <laughs> i see that's unfortunate yeah. I, i'm not i'm not an arch druid yet but eventually I'll, I'll have all the responsibilities and all the power Alright. Well, uh, thank you for bringing this here. Um, sure, I'll be back tomorrow around the same time. Uh, I hope that's enough for all you guys. It's enough for me. Bye! Oh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see you later, man. <laughs> he runs off in a hurry down the street. Man, that boy can just yammer. <laughs> So what kind of food did you bring us? Uh, fruits and veggies. Okay, they're gone now. Okay. I'm just kidding. I haven't munched on them. I eat the fruit. Okay, there's enough for all of you guys you to be fed for the day. veggies, too. Mm -hmm. Cool. I throw veggies at it. <laughs> eat. The, the mushrooms that you got from the Underdark are beginning to kind of soften a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't have any more. Anyone who has any mushrooms are being to soften a little bit. Oh, I have some. <laughs> yeah, well, they're gross now. Oh, well, have you know, I still have six of them. <laughs> mm. Oh, they're starting to go bad. Oh. My only memento is from the Underdark. <laughs> you could probably, like, just throw them in the yard. Oh, I could try and plant them. Plant a shrew. I don't care what you do. I make it look nice. Okay. Right, so what now? It's up to you guys. I've I've had a nap. I've eaten. I've tested out my equipment. I go back to reading. Okay. Uh, so it's about night time at this point. I begrudgingly eat the vegetables. Okay. Uh, do you want to sleep at all? Or? Um, I want to sleep at like nine-ish. Okay. Is there moonlight in my room? Sure. I put some arrows in the quiver and put them in the moonlight so they can attune. Okay. Uh, so you probably got about 15 hours out of the 48 needed for the day. Ooh. If you go to bed at 9. Did you want to do anything before turning in? I look for the darkest corner I can find, and I hold that shard. <clears throat> okay. And just start kind of like emptying my mind. Okay. Do anything else? Nope. Okay. As my arrows are tuning, I'll, I'll sleep. Okay. Let me see something. Pull up some notes.
Uh, okay, so you empty your mind. You think you don't do anything beyond that? No. Okay. I'm just trying to make the whispers that I hear occasionally. I want them to become louder so I can actually hear them. Okay. Uh, they have been repeating the same thing since you got the shard. And anytime mm -hmm. you find yourself touching it, it, those whispers kind of invade your mind. Mm -hmm. It just repeats itself over and over again. Free me. Become my beacon. Pull me to this plane. Your desires will be granted. No, not if I don't get anything new from it. Nope. And if you want to say anything back or not. Mm. Um, how long do you do this, we'll say? What time was it? That's about 9 p.m. when everyone's going to bed. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't need as much time to, like, rest. So, uh, I don't know, an hour or two to still give me enough time to get, like, my the full rest that I need. Okay. Uh, they do become more clear and louder and more prominent. Then when you kind of snap out of the, the concentration, uh, become kind of normal and quiet again. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so whatever you're doing is working. Very good. Uh, so morning comes. Do you guys want to do anything? Um... So am I free to walk around the town, or are there, like, guards that are outside when, my door? When asked, uh, you are told that you are allowed to go about the town with escorts. Okay. Um, so, it's getting kind of rough sleeping on the floor. I was wondering if you could take me to some place where I might be able to purchase uh, some bedding of some kind for my guests and myself. If it is your last day here, I guess you just have it in comfort, sure. Last day here. I see. Alright, cool. <laughs> uh, they take you around town, you meet some, you know, lovely woodsmen who, uh, or wood shapers who... Um... I don't necessarily want, like, actual beds, just, like, sleeping bags, basically. You guys have those already. Yeah, it's basic gear. But, but elven sleeping bags. <laughs> Probably nicer. Or even just a mattress Down or something. Comfy. comfy pillow, perhaps. <laughs> Pillows, and blankies. Well, I mean, it's not exactly <laughs> this day mattress. It's more of they shove a ton of feathers into some, uh, some nice material and it makes it soft. I would like to buy pillows and blankets. Okay, you do so. I'll set you back about five gold. Thanks. Um, so when I wake up, I put my quiver and arrows back in my bag of holding since they only saw my bow and I don't want them taking any of my shit. So I put it away. You wouldn't have your arrows. Yeah, they're all in my bag of holding because I ran oh. out. Okay. So that's what I've been pulling them out of because I was unattuned to my quote note. Yeah, I was unattuned to my quiver. Okay. I just stored it. Um, there was something else. Oh, um, I inquire about a bathhouse or somewhere I can go to bathe and not have to fetch the water myself. I'll have Mir then bring you some water, but. <clears throat> Very well. You'll have to bathe yourself. That's fine. Just make sure he puts it in the right room. I just wait for my water. Anything else? Nope. Ithlin? Ooh, I inquire about when our trial is. It's being decided still. Very well. Ithlin? Not unless they're gonna let me into a library or a bookstore or something of that nature. No. Even if you weren't being held in custody, it's a palace for 
important people. When you just wander around the palace, it's going to be hard to... At this point, anyways. Um, Alright, so, do you have anything else? Uh, I come back with pillows and blankets. Hey guys, look what I got. Hey, take a pillow and blanket. Thank you, Varys. Mm-hmm. Put it in my room. Do you like a pillow and a blanket? It's, it's like a blanket, but not a pillow. <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> I don't sleep, I meditate. I don't need a pillow. You could sit on the pillow while you're meditating. Yeah. I don't want a bum pillow. <laughs> a butt pillow. Okay, around the afternoon, Mirrodin brings you uh, more food and this time more, more water than typical. Oh. More than typical. I take the extra water. Okay. I have currently set up like a thing where I have a sleeping bed or a sleeping bag, and then I have a pillow where my butt is, <laughs> and then there's another pillow for my back. <laughs> I come from this comfy reading position, and I like. I don't have glasses, but. You draw glasses on yourself? <laughs> I draw glasses on myself and then glasses. wipe them away. <laughs> Put my bookmark. Hey, Kylie is here. Yeah. And uh, eat food really fast and go back to reading. Okay. Is the extra water my bath water or like yes. extra drinking water? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I go bathe. Okay. And then I eat. It is cold water. Oh well. I'm go through the effort of heating it. <laughs> I slept near for not heating my water up. He's not there, so. <laughs> I just take it, go to my room. Have a loose Oh. I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna cast prestidigitation on some of my water to flavor it. Okay. Because I can do that. What flavor I'm would you like your water powerful. to be? <laughs> um. Hmm. Are you just making by the water? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Now it tastes like lemon. Hmm. <laughs> now it tastes like hibiscus. Okay. Hibiscus water. All right, you do so. So I'm a hipster elf. <laughs> too, no, good, we'll, too good for regular no, water we'll now. Uh, so how long would you like to dedicate to reading? You spend a few hours in the morning uh, going out to procure these abil- these supplies. Um, so you, so probably, you probably picked it back up, back up again around like 10 a.m. I, I take a, a small pause from my reading and I go... I look around. Are there any guards? Just the one stationed outside. I message to both of them. By the way, when I went shopping earlier, one of the guards told me that tonight was our last day here. I don't know what he meant by that. Hmm. But I'm going to be reading all night. <laughs> That could mean that there are trials tonight and something happens. Or they really just kick us out of their city and forbid us from ever coming back. Yeah, you say this back to me and I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> no response. <laughs> okay. Uh, I need to learn everything. Rude. Okay. Very quickly. Rude. So at 10 a.m. You could read another 12 hours. I do not sleep. <laughs> Okay. Oh, God. So you read another 12 hours. I'm trying to find something that's going to help me. Uh, puts you at 27 out of this hours read so far. Um, and they tell you, and you read through the book, and it talks about how, you know, sometimes all your allies are the people you're leading. Sometimes all they need is, you know, that motivational speech where it's like. Is that 27 hours added or total? Total. No. So you still need another 11 hours, I think. It, I need 48 hours total, so that's Another 20, 21. Yeah. <laughs> and you can only take a day in between to not, I think. I have to read it within a week, I think. Okay. I need to read 48 hours of worth of it in a week. Okay. But we try and do this in two and a half days, at least. Yeah.
Alright, so should I just like to do anything else before we go on to the next day? I become saddened as I read a section that says, When you encounter books, you should take them. <laughs> oh, no, that's what you're doing. Uh, it tells you, yeah, sometimes all your, your allies or your, the people you're leading need is just that motivational speech that even when things look bleak, that you guys can do it if you just try really hard. <laughs> Taking mental notes. Alright. And so morning comes, and there's a knock on the door, and then when no one answers, the soldiers come in, push the door open, and push the double doors open and come in. Uh, I don't know where everyone's at in the house. Upstairs, downstairs. I assume you're in, in my room. Where are you at? I'm just like in a corner. Okay. My little nest. Alright. Ithlin? Um... I suppose if there's nothing interesting in the area that we are, I'm just kind of hanging out in like the main okay. entrance, like room. Okay. Uh, so the soldiers come in, like, go gather your allies. It's time. Do I hear them like busting down? I don't know. Or? Make a perception check. Yeah, after they come in and say all this, I'm like, seventeen. Sorry, I'm really into this book. 17? Yeah, you hear it. You hear them coming at least. Upon hearing them enter, I get dressed, put my armor on, go downstairs. Okay. I assume that this house has windows and window seals where I could be like, put the book. Sure. Okay, so like I set it up on the window seal and like I'm like reading it and getting <laughs> my armor. <laughs> okay. Doing everything I can to just keep reading. Okay. It's <laughs> like, uh huh. <laughs> Why didn't I ever think about that? <laughs> All right. Uh, so they lead you to the palace, and uh, bef they lead you into the uh, the throne room where you fought the king previous, where you talked to Awen previous, and there's been tables set up. And there's A1 at the center of it with uh, many of the other acolytes there, um, as well as Mirrod in there. And you come in, he goes, uh, I, I would like to present uh, Alexia, Varys, and Ithlin. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, he's the worst. <laughs> they can't even see me because I'm. <laughs> they didn't take the book from you? No, no. I mean, it's just a book. I nudge Varys to put the book away. I don't acknowledge the nudge. I hit him with my elbow in the ribs. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I put the book away. So happy you could join us, Varys. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. It's just a really interesting book. You stand accused of treason, killing the king of our fair city, the murder of Island Galanadel, and resisting justice. How do you all plea? Not guilty. The charges were killing the king. Killing my father and treason? And uh, evasion of justice. And evasion of justice. I plead not guilty to some of the charges. Oh? Oh, man. Explain. Oh, man. Um, I didn't kill my father. I didn't all right what were they again <laughs> killing the king K killing the king treason. evading justice treason evading justice and the murder of your father right um i didn't kill my father the other things are true <laughs> but they aren't it's more complicated than that than just being true or false Um, 
the the real culprit behind all of this was the drow Kylina. I left her head here with you guys. I don't know where, where that is. Mary then bring forth the head. And he like grabs it and it's like not in the jar and he's just like, Ugh. bring it forth. <laughs> Why you leave it in the jar? <laughs> I did. And he like no, puts it on the table and everyone's just like, that'll be all. Gross. Yes. He walks away and he's just like, uh. <laughs> Kylina fooled everybody for years into believing that she was one of you. A regular elf, but she was in fact, as you can see by her appearance as she normally is, a drow. Um, we we did end up killing the king, and the king was in fact possessed by a demon, a demon that left his body after after we fought him. Um, and after fighting the king and finding out that he was possessed, uh, he spoke to us briefly. I can't quite recall what he said. Um, but Kylina entered the room afterwards, and it, the king had the stone, um, the will of the land on him. And he, uh, Kylina took the stone and revealed to us that she was a drow and teleported away to the Underdark and so in order to go after her we had to leave and we were gone for I don't even know how long but when we went to the Underdark we found that she had been using the stone to uh, destroy other settlements down in the Underdark and basically wage war with other races that were down there. Uh, we managed to find the the Dark Elf City and uh, while we were asleep we were ambushed and taken prisoner. And I don't know, months, two months passed as we were prisoners and some of us had to do things we're not proud of to survive. And the first chance we got, we managed to escape and fought Kylina to the death. But before, before killing her, she, uh, she was trying to summon some being from another dimension using a, a giant green crystal of some kind. And this beast that tried to come through was horrible. It had tentacles and it was teeth everywhere. I could have sworn it said something along the lines of, Do you feel that? <laughs> and after the battle, we, we actually managed to find uh, some, some written evidence and things that Kylina had talked about. It was her personal journal. We stupidly left it behind because, well, we were prisoners in the Underdark for quite some time and that place isn't, isn't particularly friendly or welcoming and so I managed to uh, make a portal <laughs> just barely and that is when you found us. But the journal, uh, basically it said uh, Kylina was upset with how her social status was down in the Underdark. And she, um, while she was on the surface, she found a meteor that had fallen from the sky. And when she went to find the meteor, that crystal that green gem that she was using to summon this being, it uh, was inside of the meteorite and it spoke to her. And, uh, what was the other thing? 
I'm forgetting it. She, uh, she had detailed that she had altered the memories of the people here in the city into believing that she was always a part of your society and that she was this high-ranking person when really she wasn't. She was this drow that you see. It's quite a story. I have something to say when he's done speaking. Yeah. She, she leans forward and goes, it's quite a story. And yet you have no proof. And this is quite unfortunate. Do any of you have anything you'd like to add? Yes. You would have us give you proof. I stand accused of treason that I am somehow allied with the drow. And like, as I'm speaking, I'm kind of like taking my breastplate off and like kind of like taking my upper like armor off. And like, by the time I'm done, you just, there's like nothing on mm -hmm. my torso. And like, I, I've been tortured mm -hmm. months on end. By the drow. You guys were I, slaves for a month, yeah. Yeah, but I, every single day, they just beat the shit out of me. Like, this is what happens when you defy the drow. When you do not give them anything they desire. Not a single thing. I was flayed ceaselessly, day on day, for months on end. I'm not allowed, I'm not aligned with the drow, or anyone else for that matter, and this is what you get. Alexia? Um... I guess the only thing I'd add is that hmm. though we do not have proof of what we are saying is true we were more concerned about avenging the king's death making right the evil doings that occurred while Kailina was living in Vimira and bringing the will of the land back to its rightful place. And uh, Eowyn kind of leans forward and goes, if they were allied with the traitor, why would they come back? They would have been a free in a way, but they came back. That has to count for something. And some of the others kind of hold up their hand and go, yes, I'm not saying that their deeds are without merits, but... There are many holes in their stories. Holes that we cannot remember, nor we are privy to. Is there any sort of magic that could be done on us for you to see our memories of reading the book? Of reading Kylina's journal? I don't know magic such as that exists, but there are ways to discern the truth. And uh, what ways would that be exactly? <clears throat> there are charms and incantations we can use, as well as uh, a last ditch effort, should it be needed. The question is, do you submit yourself to the court? Um, I do. Yes. Skidlin? Oh, man. Do I have my mark back? Your barf bag? My mark <laughs> back. <laughs> bag. No. <laughs> um, so... Some of the clerics come in, they begin drawing a circle around you guys in particular, and they use this really fine silver chain as they do so, and they make a circle around you guys, and they begin drawing marks on the outside as well as the inside. Uh, and 
takes them about 15 minutes or so to do this, and then once they're done with it, uh, you're standing in this circle and they go, If you resist, we will know. Okay, what exactly is this? Those who stand in the circle cannot lie. Oh, great. Ah. Cool. What if I, as the player, do not remember the answer? <laughs> <laughs> well, then you, as the character, don't remember that answer. Oh, god damn. Um, so they say, if you resist, we will know. And they begin chanting in Celestial. Ooh. And the circle lights up as they do this, and you feel this compulsion come over all of you. Would you guys like to make saves? No. no. Uh, I would like to not make a save. Okay. Just let it happen. Alexia? No. You don't make a save? You don't use Indomitable? <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna know That's if I true. resist. It states in the spell they know if you resist or not. So no. Okay. Uh, so they look to Awen. I believe the spell's taken effect. So one of the other members stands up and goes, Alexia! Oh, damn it. This is it not true? You are the bastard of Princess Galatea? True! <laughs> it's Galatea, man. Okay, whatever. I know the answer <laughs> And <laughs> is it true that no. with your bloodline, you would have claims to the throne? A half-elf like you. Also true. And is it not true that you undergo went the rite of purification? Also true. This looks nothing more than a half elf trying to gain power in a place she doesn't belong. Ooh. <laughs> Shoulda. <laughs> <laughs> Are you allied with with uh, Kylina? Absolutely not. Hard pass. Okay. Did you attempt to help her overthrow the king? So she can run off with the will of the land? Nope. You did. Nope. You did help technically. Yeah. So uh, when you try and say no, that that's a no, because the question that was asked to you was, did you try to help her overthrow the king, so she, so she could, could run off yeah. with the will of the land? Yeah. That's not why we helped her yeah. though. She told you what was gonna happen if you killed him. You had all the details yeah, and all but the we answers. You didn't know that she was leaving with it. <laughs> that's fine. You didn't know that she was gonna leave with it. You knew she was gonna have it in her possession, though. So can I respond, or is it like, are we limited to yeses and nos? The moment you, you try and lie, lie your mouth just doesn't work. You can, you can say yes, we helped her, but I didn't know that she was going to run off with the thing. It's a yes or no. Is the way the spell works. That, that's what I'm wondering. Like, yeah. is it like the light attack? Like, you can only say yes or no? Yeah. Mmm, it's gonna go real bad. Yes. <laughs> and did you know about her nefarious purposes? No. <laughs> <God>. Varys. <laughs> is it I not am. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is it not true that you are the son of Island Galanadel? That is true, yes. And with your father dead, naturally his estate would pass to you. Uh, if that's how it works in elven culture, then yes. That's generally how it works in our culture. And so, you would have nothing to gain from his death? Material things, like the home, yes. But the loss of a parent is something that I didn't want. Ithlin. Hmm. <laughs> You've been privy to information before, information that should have not be known to you. Yes. I know a great many things. Too much, I'm afraid. 
Did you help Kylina? I have already told you. I literally bear the scars of what it means to defy the will of the drow. Did you not stand in this very throne room and help her kill the king? Everything I do is for a singular purpose. It's yes or no. <laughs> for my own will. How the spell works. Not for anyone but myself. The answer is no, because everything I do is selfish. <laughs> so I didn't believe that I was helping her because I'm always helping myself. The answer is no. Can you get a persuasion check? Ooh, roll really high, my dude. <laughs> Christmas, you're bad for that too, so good luck. Yeah. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's a 14, so yeah. 15. I'll rephrase the question. Did you not stand with these people and help murder the king? Whatever reason... Hmm. His death was aided by your blades. Then yes. And is it true that the demon sprang forth from his body? Yes. And they all kind of look at each other like, okay. That's not what I was expecting. Um... I have no further questions. A1 again jumps to your guys' defense and goes, See, they were tricked just like all of us. They didn't know what they were doing. In the end, they brought back the will of the land. In the end, they brought the traitor before us. And got rid of a demon. Got or at least rid. Purged the demon from the team. Yeah, that's more accurate. And, uh,. One of them jumps up and goes, We can't excuse what they did, though. They came into our land and destroyed our society from within. And another one... I take offense. Another one jumps up and actually defends you guys and goes, Everything was already messed up already. Yeah. It's long before we should have plants trying to eat us. Um... Aaron says, I have one last means of discerning the truth. Think of your questions. Think them very carefully. And she looks at you three. You'll each be allowed one question. Um. And uh, so she begins talking in like a different language, very arcane dialects. And it's just between uh, Sylvan and kind of arcane. And, uh, her hand, uh, begins having this purple aura wrapped around it, and she touches the top of the dismembered head, and all of a sudden the head goes, <gasps> Oh, God, gross. I knew freaking the head was going Ew. to work. <laughs> and the head kind of, like, looks around, slack-jawed, and doesn't, no emotion in the face at all, just kind of... Ask her the question, each of you. How in depth can this question be? Can it be multi parts? Is it a yes no question? It is a singular It is question. a yes no or a single answer question. If you said like you know, is it the middle tree the treasure is buried under? It'd be like yes, or it'd be like is it the left, right, or middle? It'd be like left or something like that. Like it can be, it's a single response, but as long as a single answer can be derived from it. I think I have mine. I will ask it a question last. Okay. Is it true, Kylina, that you altered the memories of the residents in Vamira? to make them believe you are one of them. Yes! Boom! Nailed it! Yeah. Alright. Hmm.
Did you come back to you? Do we have Ferris go? Sure. Oh, I had a really long question. <laughs> go ahead. All right. Is it true that you sought our help to uh, to dethrone the king because he was poisoning the land, because the land was tied to him and his rule? I was going to ask like five more questions in that question, but <laughs> that is just... No. Oh. What? Interesting. <laughs> that isn't what I was expecting at all. Well, all she wanted was the crystal. Him being connected and having to dethrone him has nothing to do with getting the crystal. Mm-hmm. Thank you. All I hear is going to... Kathleen, you got a question? Yeah. Make it the right question. Hmm. <clears throat> Tell me. Was it not the three of us that pursued you all the way to the Underdark only to dismantle your entire plan and take your head from your body. Yes. And with that, any life in the head completely just... <sighs> and is gone. Perhaps I should have phrased my question <laughs> more carefully. You're supposed to ask questions to verify the story that you gave them. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you could have been like, was your family fucked over and you wanted to destroy the drow society? Yes. <laughs> I forgot about that part. Oh, guys, you're killing me. <laughs> Continue. I had a good question. <laughs> All right. I thought my question was a good question. So as the magic fades away, she goes, get this thing away from me now. And the mirror then comes back in and he's like, oh, and he grabs it. And he's like, oh. <laughs> she was there, you see? Obviously, in the hand they had in the misdeeds here, they were tricked. They didn't know what they were doing. They even went so far as to risk their lives to go and fix everything that happened. Well, given the power I have currently, I say they're not guilty. But this is a council after all. Yeah. What say you? Um, and so the four on her left side, they all agree not guilty. And the other on her other side, one of them says not guilty, and the three there are just like, it's ridiculous. And they just leave. Like, well, it's unanimous. You're free to go. Oh. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Um. Cool. I thought that we were going to die. Well, the decision may not make me popular, but I know what you all did. Well, um, what now? You're free to go. Is, is Vamira going to be okay? Without the will of the land intact, it'll take some time before it regains any power to sustain us again. We'll have to rely on ourselves for a while. How will you go about choosing a new leader? When the time comes, I guess we'll deal with it when that happens. You may not be alive by then, but I'd put my vote in for you. Well, the rate of my aging now, you know. Yeah. Probably be dead. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, hey, I was supposed to meet with the people to see what they could do about my aging. Oh, yeah. Did that actually happen? Not yet. Yeah. I asked her about that. Is that happening? 
Uh, well, how many days you intend to stay in Vimira now that you are uh, free to go? Well, I still have answers to questions that I'm looking for. A couple more days. At so least. We can prepare for a trip back to Van <laughs> Okay. I honestly don't remember what party members were part of that. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one. Mm -hmm. It was. Ma Mikhail's off somewhere. It was announced Mikhail Alexia wins. and her allies. So anyone that was currently your ally is welcome to it. I don't think you guys know about Mikhail. Mm -mm. <laughs> but we're going back to Mandy. Here, I think that I'm cool because I have a house. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so what would you guys like to do in the next few days? Um, each of you have a goal, I assume, so yeah. what would you like to do before we move on? I want the clock rewound about 60 okay. years. I already got you on that. <laughs> um, I don't care about that as much as she does. Being older is fun. <laughs> um, I remember Ithlan was affected by it too, and just for you it felt like You'd been away from home for a very long time. Mm -hmm. You're you're feeling that wear and tear I told you about, Mirror Mirror Nell. Mm -hmm. So, I would like to finish reading the book, and then after that, I would like to try and find people that either know or know of, like books or a place that I can go for. Dealing with deities. Killing a god is a high task. I, uh... Uh, killing, binding, separating it from something. Uh, well, uh, I know Falgard has houses a lot of ancient knowledge. Falgard, is that? That's where my hometown is. Yeah, know? that's where you were already at previous. I've already been there, and I didn't find the answers that I seek. Do you? Know of any rumors of some ancient forgotten thing I might be able to go and see maybe if that that has answers or I'm afraid not. Well And here I thought that the elves would have everything. If you wish for a guide to our pantheon, then that can be given to you. Hmm. These ancient gods you're speaking of, though, I've never heard of them personally. Sure. What do you know about the elven gods? Well, we draw our power from Rilafane here. Rilafane? Rilafane. What? Rilafane. <laughs> How do you spell that? Uh, R I L I F A N E. Cool. How do I talk to him? You just have to look inside yourself and open up to nature. Oh, a nature god. Hmm. Ferris is going to go backpacking. <laughs> um, Alexi, over the next couple of days, um, they are not able to reverse the process entirely, but they reverse it halfway, so you gain back 30 years. After a while, they tell you that it's been too long since it happened, and typically these things must be redone in a 24-hour span. Oh. Uh, Ithlan, would you like to do anything in the next 48 hours? Yes. <laughs> so do I, I finish reading the book? Uh, so you've already said that one night, so go ahead and make a constitution check. See if you can keep your eyes open that long. <laughs> oh, here we go. Fifteen. Yeah, it's, it's enough. You you trudge through it. Uh, so you get another twelve hours on top of that. Okay. 
by the time you wake up, morning's already approaching again, and you're, you have these deep bags under your eyes at this point, and you're very tired. This is day four? This is the first day. So this is the second day, you can try and make another constitution save. Oh. Or check. Um, this will be to the make it to the afternoon to finish the book. All right. Let's try it. All right, original dice, don't let me down. All right, oh, 20. Nice. Yeah. You succeed and finish the book. Mm. And without all of its pages are blank, and there are no longer any text on it. Nice. And it takes effect immediately? Yes. What would you like to do in the next, for the next few days? Uh, did they give me back all of my belongings? Yes, yeah, so you guys all have your stuff back. Very good. I am going to go to the marketplace, and I have a drow longsword and drow scale mail that I would like to sell. Because I so, want some interestingly money. enough, they don't want that interestingly enough um, when you tell them that it's drow make, they look at it and they go, it's definitely a different style, but these are basically useless. And uh, you kind of... Like what? And you look at it and the sheen that the drow blade possessed before is no longer there. It's just a hunk oh. of metal. Same mm. with the armor. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Because I'll give you money for the scraps, but it's kind of just metal at this point. Uh, what would they give me for it then? Uh, give you 50 gold. Hmm. I suppose so if it's useless. Yeah, I'll do it, whatever. Okay. Uh, then I'm gonna go over... How many potions can I get for 2,050 gold? <laughs> a lot. A lot. We'll probably have to do that like, after the session. <laughs> a lot of stuff. So I have no way of healing myself. Well, no effectively. Uh, Is those, like mages or something? Clerics of... For, that exist. Is you in there? No. Can I send a message to you? Sure. Um, I'd like to inquire about any of my mother's belongings that may still be in the palace. Okay. And see if I could, like, have access to them. Okay. Or, or, and, and potential, um, like, access to a library or books on, like, um... Elven magic or archery skills or whatever. Yeah, as for your mother's belongings, you get the message back that says what you have is all that was left. Um, as for books on archery and elven magic, can you be more specific? Yes, like arcane archery and um... youth restoration. <laughs> <laughs> Next quest, the Holy Grail. Ah, uh, oh, yes. I don't know if there's like a, t a specific type of magic. I guess like nature based. Um... Can you be more specific? No. <laughs> Can I just have access to the library and comb through things? Sure. Okay, then I'll do that. They'll let her in, but not me. Bro, I'm half royal blood. Uh, you yeah, you got your child. name cleared. Oh. Well, they wouldn't let me in before. Because you were uh, you were going on trial for murdering the king. No, the last time we were here. I know, but now you're yeah, a hero. We were so. shady people. Oh, we're a hero now? You've yeah. been elevated in status? Yeah. Shit. Shit. Well, I'm headed to the library then. I'll finally let me in. You're going to ask to go to like I I've done nothing but ask that since we've gotten the <laughs> like yeah, You guys know. are given access to the royal records and library, but this is a vast, it's a whole building unto itself. And it would take you many, I many weeks to go through all these. I summon my unseen servant. Okay. He's going to start grabbing things off the shelf, shelves for me. It would take many, many, possibly months for you guys to go through all these books. Is there... A book on my family lineage. Uh, sure. 
Is there someone like, or do I just have to read it? Like a librarian or someone here that like oversees all of the stuff. There are scholars here and things like that. And they kind of scour at you guys as you come in. They're like, oh, it's riffraffed. Yeah. Um, does the book say anything about like abilities no. or like what people were specifically like known for? Like, here was the king of something, you know? No. The Catholic king of. It tells you about some of your ancestors and some of the great deeds they performed. And, uh. Like what? Uh, some of them were the first person to find the location that Vimir now stands on. Oh. Um, some of them guarded the previous kings with their lives. Um, you do have a long lineage of heroes. At what point did they become, like, the leaders of... Uh, in the last a couple thousand years. Oh, okay. Then did it let, just, like, follow the bloodline uh, for no. successes? Your grandfather or... was the first of your lineage to do so. Oh, okay. Um, okay, then I want to look for a book specifically on arcane archery. Uh, if you're interested, your, uh, your last name could be Sheel. Let me... It's just your family name. Oh. Okay. How do I spell it? S-H-Y-A-E-L. I don't even know where... Oh. S-H-Y. A-E-L. Eh, it's okay. <laughs> you can change it if you want. I don't even know my dad's name. Something human. Davy Johnson. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, is there any information that I could use to, like, enhance my arcane archery skills or abilities? You could take more levels than fighter. Um, any... You do find out that arcane archery is very rare, and that it usually follows the bloodline when it is discovered, but it's a very old form of magic. And that's not very common these days. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. But it can be taught. Is there any information about when elves start to, like, show those kinds of abilities? Like Usually adolescents. Half-elf years, what would that mean? Adolescence. You oh. age like a human does. You just live longer. So I'm like past my time? Yes. <laughs> mm. I don't anything else. Like, I don't know how to, how to be more specific about the magic. Since this place is so big. Yeah, you ask about magic and someone points to three or four different... Uh, columns of books, like, that's about magic. Mm. What about magic that controls nature? Uh, yeah, here's four or five different bookcases. That's yeah. about nature. Okay. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> so I'd like to walk up to someone who looks like they work here, or oversee this place. Sure. You there, tell me. Where are your tomes on uh, demonology, uh, the occult, uh, anything infernal in nature, any, anything reprehensible, really? You don't dwell on black arts here. Yes, I, I wouldn't imagine you would, but I would think you would have something. Not that I'm aware of. Hmm. Such things are taboo in our culture. You would know that, Ithlan. Yes. Hmm. What about anything ancient, primordial in nature? Maybe a few tomes. Depends what you're looking for. Hmm. Ancient gods of beings. Yes, your friend was looking for the same thing. I'm afraid not many exist on the ancient gods. They're all but forgotten. Hmm. Very well. And I just began kind of wandering around. Okay. <laughs> just kind of like looking yeah. for anything interesting. Is there anything in particular you want to look at? Or? Um. 
Just kind of looking in like uh, ancient history, those kind of places. No. Okay. That section, I guess. If that's how their library works. Sure, yeah, there's, I can say there's a section for that, sure. What was that gas for? I want to find a book about the... <laughs> the thing we went through. <laughs> the, the trial thingy, the purification thing, whichever. And see if there's any way to get the mark back. Uh, the red for purification yeah. is the only way to show that you are pure is to do selfless deeds and nothing to promote your own self or your own wealth or power, just purely for the better of the people. Does it? Is there anything about if one loses it, like if the mark disappears, if there's a way to regain do it? Do exceptional heroic deeds and proof that uh, their spirit is pure, yeah. <laughs> Passing the trial is merely a formality to show that you have the potential, but does not mean that you are worthy. Man, if only you hadn't killed that guy in the Underdark that one time. You don't know I did shit. Shut the fuck up. The gods saw it. <laughs> <laughs> it went away when she said, she said Vimeera can fuck off <laughs> that one session. <laughs> Hey man, they were being real mean, okay? <laughs> At some point, I'm going to make a magic item for you. It's going to be a hammer, and only when you're worthy will you be able to wield the hammer, and the mark will reappear. Do you guys like to do anything else? Um, I'm just looking around in that... Uh... I want to know if there's any of my grandfather's possessions here that I could search through. Do you not permit to touch those? Papa. <laughs> All right, bye. I'm done. Do you have the only um, one of his belongings? So. Oh, so Is mm. there are there any books on the sword and no. its powers? <laughs> no. Is it just a regular sword? Hey, books are not a cure all like information. Oh, okay, you can't be like. Is man. there a book on this? <laughs> they should keep very good <laughs> records of what happens. <laughs> books okay. are not a magic fix. <laughs> Even elven libraries are limited. Mm -hmm. Do you think they're older than they are? I am not even wielding that sword right now. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe you can actually use it effectively. Oh, I can. Use what? Yeah, I thought you said I could use it. I can use every weapon effectively. We haven't equipped it yet, so. It's an intelligent based item, so. Ooh. <laughs> Anything else, guys? Yeah, as he's like walking through the library and like looking down like various sections where there's like tables and stuff in between the sections, he comes across a section with me just faced first into the book, <laughs> the empty book, sleeping. Yeah, it's a bunch of blank pages that his eyes are. He's just like asleep on. He finally went to bed. Like I kind of like pick the book up and like thumb through a few of the pages, like. Uh, I'm just <laughs> drop it on the ground and continue walking. <laughs> so like, why was he so interested in this? It's just blank. Is this what he's been reading for the last few days? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't even need pictures. Yeah, like you take the book out from under my face and like you lift my head up slightly and I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm still sleeping. Uh, Snoring. Yeah, I think I'm good. Okay, anything else? And I'll probably just head back to the house and sleep. Well, this spans the two days you guys are here. So. Oh, okay. Well, then. So, before we officially, officially move on, are you guys done? Mm -hmm. I mean, if yep. the mirror has nothing else to offer me, then mm -hmm. yes. Okay. okay. What is your guys' next destination? Vanden. Yes, I suppose Vanden. Wait, what's the country versus the city? Verendran is, is the, the continent. No, okay, Vandin so Vandin is, is, is the city. Yes. Yeah, so Vandin. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. You gotta go see patches. It's for my horses. Okay. For my royal stables. I don't even remember patches, so. Patches is probably dead. Because I can't remember. What? <laughs> I told them to feed and water her. 
<laughs> take care of her until I come back. I don't remember that. I expect them but to But there's do gonna it. be like a month. There's gonna be a fee because you've been gone for seven well, months. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was, yeah. <laughs> I told them I'd settle my bill. Um, okay. Yeah. So as you guys head out, um, Vimir is no longer protected by kind of a multi-dimensional um, barrier. Ooh, and so as you head into the woods, um, you eventually head from the semi-lush. It's not as bad as you guys feared. Vimir is slowly coming back to life, but it's through agriculture and not magic. Um, so eventually you leave this beautiful countryside of Vimira and head into the actual woods. Um, do you guys have a path in particular you'd like to make? So what are we doing? <laughs> We're going to Vanden. Why? Because that's where I live. Because so... reasons. Yeah, you're, because you're one reasons. of them now, apparently, so you have to... Yeah, we go to yes, them. I'm confused. Why am I following them? I don't know. I don't know. Why What's are my you motivation us? to do this? I don't know. Do you not want to? Other than party development? <laughs> I mean... Go do your own shit. Why, why am I following you guys? I don't know. Because we get into really cool adventures. Why don't you have a conversation about it? Uh, that's what I'm asking you right now. Okay. Why the fuck am I following you? <laughs> yeah. Why am I doing this again? I am champion of Vanden. So, when one quest is completed, I check in with the King of Vanden to see if there's other things that need to be done. As champion, I protect the people of Vanden. <laughs> hmm. Yes. And I live there. So I'm, I'm going home. You know, I figured days. that we were friends after all of this, and that, you know, we could just hang out. Hmm. Suppose I haven't come across more. And I kind of like look Varys up and down. Oh. Interesting <laughs> traveling companions. I mean, most of our quests we've gone on have been because of specific goals of ours. I mean, mine is still in continuation, but before I met her and our other deceased friends, we, uh... <laughs> Everything I love dies. I, I, I never have nice things. I had, seems that I way. had to collect on a favor that they owed, uh... Me and me and a special somebody, and uh, then we went to Vimira and Alexia found her family, and where you she also found your family. That's true. What about you? Do you have any goals? Well, because I wrote down that I'm chaotic good and not neutral. It's gonna be good enough. <laughs> um, yes, I suppose after finally being led into their library, they do not possess the knowledge that I seek. I will have to continue elsewhere. Well, what kind of knowledge do you need? Maybe I know. Hmm. Then tell me. You seem to possess questionable powers. Oh, about questionable. Questionable powers. <laughs> Where did you come across these? Well, you appear to be nothing more than a bard. Most elves are magical in nature. You are a half elf. Yes. Yeah, Called out. <laughs> well, I guess I just happened to get the half that had the magic. Hmm. I may or may not have sought out more help from a a being. Oh. Hence my ability to do this. <laughs> make my packed weapon, and then make it disappear. And where did you come across this? 
Uh, it was kind of like a dream where I was dying of being drowned. And then I saw this thing. It's really hard to describe, but basically it told me it was a forgotten god that was uh, in charge of, like, rebirth and, like, the natural order of life, making sure things died when they needed to die and be reborn when they needed to be reborn type of thing. Hmm. Seems like a pretty good guy. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. And in return, all I have to do is... pretty much whatever. I suppose I've been with you long enough that I could tell you why I'm out and about as much as I am. The short version, anyway. I seek knowledge of a demon, a specific demon. I do not know his name, unfortunately, or my journey would have ended a long time ago. My brother delved a little too deeply to the knowledges of the occult, made a pact, some sort of horrible thing, gave him what he wanted, but in the end, the price was far too great. It reclaimed what he had pledged to him which was his soul. I seek either way into the infernal realms or to rip that horrible demon into this plane so I can reclaim the soul of my brother. I thought you had family issues. <laughs> well, that definitely sounds like a noble cause to reclaim lost family. Um, I personally don't know of any way to conjure a demon, but given time I could learn and help you. I already know of the way. Oh, you just need to know the who? Yes. Well... I guess we could start looking. Hmm. Maybe we could uh, ask around and see if there's any rumors of demonic possession of people. Ask the demons. I mean, there was that one demon that possessed your grandfather, after all. Mm -hmm. We could see if the king of Vanden has any resources we could use. Gather information from other cities. Get some leads. Perhaps. Maybe I'll learn a thing or two about gods while I'm talking to demons. I know the city of Bleakwater has a rather large library you could potentially visit. There's a collection of fairy tales. No. Maybe not. Um, Bleakwater's garbage. Why is there a thing that says, don't go here anymore to Bleakwater? I can't go here. <laughs> <laughs> Neither can Sawyer. Or you guys get kicked out. Well, they're not here. They don't matter. <laughs> yeah, I made a personal note that I'm no longer ever allowed to go to Blue Fire. There's no weird shit there. Really got kicked out. Hmm. Well, if you would be willing. To help me in my search. I would be grateful. In the meantime, you are welcome to stay with me in Vanden. To 
we can stock up on supplies, get information, find out where to head to next. Sounds good. Very well. This place no longer has anything for me, it would seem. All right. Um, do, do you have a map? Oh, I've been there. I've been there. Oh, I see. Oh, a map. Hey, look, guys, got a map. All okay, right. So... I suppose we should try and find the road. Far wind plane. That's where you guys are at currently. Oh, it's over in here. That's where Vamira was uh, hidden. Ew. It's a little desolate now. It's just a meadow. It's a giant meadow. If one would know that uh, they, uh, the rumor about the Feywilds and swallowing you up if you walk that way is just to keep people away from Vamira. Mm -hmm. Um, it's no longer hidden though. It's still deep in the woods, but it's no longer hidden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we... We head towards Vanden. Honestly, I don't know. Castle Van, we're going there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the journey takes you guys a couple weeks, but as it is your adventures reprieve. I'd say we go through Daroma. I'm just gonna. Just a straight path. Yeah. So as as your adventures reprieve, uh, the world's in a pretty happy place, honestly. Um, having fixed the threat you guys did before and uh, thwarting the threat of the squires without anyone really knowing about that. Um, the world's honestly pretty cheerful right now. Um, as you walk through these places that you've already been before, uh, Theramon is still a ghost town, as it, the inhabitants were fake. Um, people are beginning to reclaim it, though, and basically pyramids are being set up to kind of rename it and make it a different city. Um, you pass by through there, and anyone else you meet along the way, they... Yeah. The world's in a good place. You guys did good. You guys have definitely made an impact on the world. Nice. Very good, then. Um, as you arrive at Van Den, the city guards stop you only momentarily, and then they see you, Alexia, and they go, Well, it's, Do you recognize me? It's been like half a year. Where have you been? It's a long story, my friend. <laughs> Perhaps better saved for another time. Uh, when you left, it was beginning of winter. <clears throat> That's now midsummer. Nice. Um, as you've been traveling this way, you notice it's very hot out. The sun is beat down on you guys every single day. It is very hot. <laughs> but, like I said, you arrive back in the van and you're welcome with open arms. The person you left patches with, uh, thought for sure you were dead. We're not coming back, but uh, they still have patches there. Says, well, you've been gone for seven months, so that comes to what, about 600 gold. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You know, if you can keep paying, I'll keep watching it. <laughs> it's good money. You just paid for all my food for the next year. Well, I, what does she look like? Does she, she looks healthy. Look healthy? She, she looks like she's been taken care of and brushed and... You did, did exactly as I asked, and I appreciate your work. Maybe just don't be gone so long next time. I had a couple of people trying to buy her from me, and I wasn't sure if I said yes or no. No, no. No, no. <laughs> I'll always come back. Um, I will say that as you guys approach Van, and you see up on the very, very high hill, this magnificent stone keep up on the hilltop, um, completely fully structured and created, and... Uh, <laughs> Standing very, very tall in the distance. That's new. So you said you had a place for us to stay? It's about a mile, a mile outside of town, up on the hill. Oh. So. Yes. Um, I am going to head to the palace to request a brief audience with the king. If you guys want to head 
for the local one of the local taverns, I can meet you there. Uh, all right. I can't promise I won't be drunk. <laughs> I'm gonna put it past you. Toodles. Toodles. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I go to the tavern. Yeah. Ithlin, would you like to come with me and get sloppily drunk and hit on the women? Very well. Well, you'd be better than that. <laughs> I don't know about the second part. But the first part sounds pretty good. Nice. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, it'll take you a few days before you can meet with the king, as he's a very busy person. Okay. Um, even for you, he has many things to attend to. Do um, I know that that nice looking <laughs> building out there is mine? Alright, well, I go back, I go to the tavern. Um, how long was she gone? Mm, about an hour. Alright, perfect. So, in the hour that she's gone, I enter the tavern and I go to the barkeep. Hello, I would like to purchase, um, I don't know, how much alcohol do you have? Mm, enough for a couple months. How much would that cost? Drink dry. <laughs> mm. Roughly 600, 700 gold. Let me rephrase. How much would it be to pay for everybody's drinks for the next three hours? Uh, probably 100 gold. Great. Depends how much everyone drinks. <clears throat> I go... I, s like, stand on one of the stools or something. Oh, I don't have that. I can't drink. I'm so sad. Mm. Uh, I stand up and I say, Everyone! Varys Galanadel is back in town! Drinks are on me! We don't know who you are, but yeah, I'll take it! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I hand him 150 gold. Oh. Because I'm not sure how wild this is going to get, but we throw in a party. And he goes, Ah! Drinks are on this one! <laughs> so he begins filling up cups dr drastically and... Do they have mead? Yeah. I order five. Okay. Jeez. They're all brought... There's, at this point, tons and tons of pitchers and glasses and tankards all over on everyone's table, and everyone's just filling them up and drinking it, and then, like, throwing it on the ground, grabbing another one, they're like, yeah! Varus! Yeah, let's get some music going in here, and I go over to, like, a corner where, like, I don't know if they have, like, an area where people perform yeah, at all. there's a stage. And uh, I I start performing. Make a performance check. I play party music. Okay. Oh, Irish drinking tunes. If I could do that without being sued, I would play them right now. That is a uh, twenty-three. Twenty-three. I can't play Irish drinking tunes, but just imagine it. Um. Yeah, it is a very loud party. Awesome. As Alexia makes her way back, you hear. Glasses being broken and things being shattered and loud, loud rock Irish music being played. Mm. People are stumbling out of the street and vomiting on the, the <laughs> floor. And, I'll have another and walks right back in. Oh well, I think to myself, sounds like this is where Varys and Eflin chose to go. <laughs> I drink at least eight tankards full of ale. Make a constitution save. I've been magically <laughs> flavoring my meads Oof. this entire time. Both of you guys are going to make a constitution save. You're going to flavor mine too? Sure. We'll say disadvantage since you've been Ooh. drinking that much. How much oh, have you been yeah. drinking? I've had at least five. Okay, you too. Ooh, nat 20! Oh, disadvantage. Dang. Double nat 20s? No. No. Oh, okay. Oh, disadvantage. Yeah, yeah, So, yeah. it can only get worse from here. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> well, I can use indomitable. <laughs> is the Constitution save? Yeah, fifteen. Nine. Nine. Uh, I don't care if I get drunk. So. You are very, very drunk. And various, <laughs> your fine. world is swirling like all around you, but you're still coherent enough to make choices. But you're very drunk. Built up a tolerance, it seems. <laughs> Do I see Alexia yeah. walk in? 
she's not trying to hide, it's so yeah. Scary. I'm stuck in my <laughs> I like stop playing for a moment and I grab my glass and I'm like, there she is, the champion of Vanden. Everyone goes, ah, oh, Varys. <laughs> I'm drunk enough. To Alexia. Woo! <laughs> I'm drunk enough that I'm no longer flavoring my meads with good flavors. <laughs> like, because I've gotten bored, I'm like, ugh, that flavor. <laughs> and I just pour it out on the ground. You can just, just fix it. It's magic. No, it, I'm too drunk. <laughs> so I'm just like, ugh. Yeah, he's just like, ugh, I'm Flavor the next one. <laughs> hey, I, uh, I, uh, um, you, I bought, I bought the, I bought the tavern. Um, <laughs> oh my god. That'd be cool. You, uh, <laughs> you can have as much as you want. At that point, one of the servers comes up and she goes, I, I hate to interrupt you, but everyone has drank so much that your tab is getting very close to the end. Oh. Oh, they need more monies. Well, make sure she gets some to drink. Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> and then you're going to randomly cut people off. <laughs> oh, that's a dangerous game, sir. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, um, I get... One drink and ask for three rooms for the what night. What do you ask for? Uh, do you have a specific? Probably a nice glass of wine. Just... Yeah. They come up to you and they're like, this is all we have left. And it's very like dark brown, like kind of like smells very, very strong. And they're like, this is all we have left. Uh, we're getting to the, our, our, our stores. I'll try it. It was very potent. Blueberries! Very <laughs> oh, and then it tastes like blueberries. Oh. Varys! Yeah? Do you think I could flavor this table? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of fall out of my chair and pass out. <laughs> I well, flavored I, the table. Yeah, after you flavor the table. But you're going to have to find like... out what flavor it is. <laughs> Start biting the table. <laughs> Kind of splintery, but tastes like. What does it taste like? It's up to you. Mmm. Apple pie. What was your last coherent thought? Apple pie. Okay. <laughs> so you have like splinters in your mouth at this point, but you're just like, apple pie. Mm-hmm. Definitely apple pie. <laughs> you like start spitting it out. Sawdust in your mouth. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Anything else you guys want to do? I'm blackout drunk. Yeah. I, uh, I go back to playing since I stopped to... Make a performance check with disadvantage. To bite the, bite the table and, uh, <laughs> announce Alexia's presence. Oh. Fifteen? The playing has gone significantly worse. <laughs> it's still a, a, a hefty tune, but... You're just like really elongating a lot of the notes at this point. Mm -hmm. And you're kind of just like stopping mid and just like picking it back up again. Um, I'm only going to drink a little bit because the wine is so potent. It's so not I'm wine, hot. it's... Uh, whatever it is. But it tastes like blueberries. Yeah, but... Blueberry schnapps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I want to stay very coherent. Okay. <laughs> uh, if there's nothing else you guys want to do, though, we can move on to the next day. Uh, I just pay for rooms for mm -hmm. as long as until we. Yeah, yeah, because you guys you stay in the story's house. The king. So. Huh? Yeah. I wake up the next morning on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Someone's put a pillow on, like under you, oh. and you're just like cuddling with the pillow. So generous. Yeah. So I'll pay for however many days it takes for me to see the king. With the so money we'll Varys gave, you guys not to worry about it. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, and even the next morning, they're like, oh, breakfast. Not right? You guys want food? Nice yeah, thing. I'm just like... Damn. It's going to vomit a little bit in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, well, uh, you threw quite a party, and... Uh, it was a mess to clean up, but uh, it's going to be ship shape in a few hours, so I'll get you some food. So you guys are fed. And so, a few days go by. 
And uh, after a while, you're sent for. You roll out into the castle. Um, what do you guys want to do in the meantime while she does that, if anything at all? I would like to go to a store that sells, um, like, stuff to smoke. Sure. I go to some sort of, uh, uh, like an herbalist, because I need, like, a hangover tonic. So you and Oh, yeah, so you same. go with me? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> what <laughs> are you doing here? This is a couple days later, but, uh, yeah, that's fine. Um... I'm surprised to see you here. Oh, yeah, Varys, the usual shark bait. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> Give him a baggie full of uh, brown tobacco. Little little blue notes in it, though. I didn't take you for the smoking type, but, uh... What do you smoke? Oh, no, um... <clears throat> still feel ill from, uh... My rampant drinking the other day. Oh, don't worry. Like, being with us, you'll get used to that. Oh, gods. Yeah, so I ask for some sort of, like, herbal remedy for stomach pain and all that. Alright. Let me give you some. Nice. Uh, it costs you each a gold to replenish your, or to get that. This is for upset tummies, and uh, this is for smoking. Um, Alexia, what would you like to do? You are welcome into the castle, and you wait for a, f a little while, but eventually the king comes out, and he goes, I heard you were back in town. I, I tried to clear my schedule as best as possible. I... Uh, People told me you had moved or something. I... Your friend uh, Sawyer, was it? His house is also abandoned, so... I assumed you had moved on. No. I did not. What can I, what can I do for you? A uh, couple things. I couldn't help but notice the... The large building about a mile outside yes, of town. Yes, we, uh... We completed it in your absence, and... We're waiting for you to get back to unveil it. Wonderful. Well, we I can a, unveil it. Now. I have a festival planned and everything, and the fact that the weather's so nice couldn't be more perfect. Wonderful. Um, so, festivities tonight? <laughs> It'll take me a couple of weeks to get the oh, preparations in order, but consider it, my, there in the meantime. <laughs> consider it my last thank you for you and what your friends did. You could, but it's barren at the moment. Um, am I furnishing it? Is he furnishing it? Okay, okay. I can start that. Um, yes, my, uh, my comrades and I could use a place to stay, so I'll begin preparations on getting everything in order there, and we'll be there until the unveiling and our next journey. Um... Would I be able to use some of your resources to gather information from neighboring cities and neighboring countries regarding uh, recent you know, His expression hardens a little bit and he goes, Alexia, no. we went through this last time when oh, you... Oh, that was my last one, huh? When you, you, oh, no. When you asked for the permission to execute one of our ambassadors. Although it fit into your vengeance, that was all I promised you. I told you our resources are no longer for you to use. Thanks. You've done a lot for the city and for the countryside, but I can't just let you use the money and resources that I command. Fair enough. Fair enough. Are you aware of anyone in town who travels a lot to other cities? Do you? Okay, aside from me. Alright. 
traveling merchants. Got it. <laughs> I I thought this meeting was important. Is there something you needed, or? Nope. That's it. <laughs> Very well. Um, it was good to see you in the meantime. Uh, I'm glad you are safe and unharmed, and the festival will truly be. Uh, definitely be something to remember it'll take me a couple of weeks to procure those provisions though but it'll be a time everyone will remember that's for sure well, no rush i appreciate everything you've done for me and my comrades and Without you and the keep and yes yep. if you have need of me just send word okay and i leave okay <laughs> uh, <laughs> I try to find Varys and Ithlin. Are you guys being con conspicuous, or <laughs> where are you guys hanging out right now? Uh, I would be back at the tavern, just kind of like sitting on the stage playing with my shark pipe <laughs> my mouth like in the corner is just puffing out okay. smoke and I'm playing like a blues <laughs> um I'm just hanging out not drinking <laughs> so then they're easy enough to find <laughs> Um, so I go to the tavern, and inform them, basically just like sit down and just be like, so you remember the keep that we saw in the distance as we entered the, the city? Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to forget. So that is something that was built for myself and my comrades to use as we pleased for services rendered to the king. He built you a castle? Yeah. Mm. Wow. It's a keep. What? Yeah, semantics. Anyway, so I just confirmed the information with them so we can go. It's unfurnished right now, but I will slowly gather items for it, but we have a place to stay. Oh, well, slowly, you. why don't we just go shopping? I mean, we got a whole keep to furnish now. Okay, how much money are you rolling in over there? I don't know. Maybe we could pool our resources. We can discuss that. Uh, the other matter, I spoke with the king and, of course, my poor memory. I have used... All of my favors that I have with him. So I don't have a lot, I don't have any resources to gather information about possible demon sightings or possessions or anything. Um, best bet maybe discussing uh, having conversations with travelers who may come in and out of town, speak with local traveling merchants, see if they've heard any rumors about anything. Just kind of gather information from the locals. I have an idea. I take out a peach, a piece of parchment. A peach parchment. A peach part. <laughs> and I begin drawing. Okay. Oh no. I draw a full-sized picture that looks like this. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a little stick figure with horns and a devil tail. Okay. And uh, 
at the top it says, have you seen this person? <laughs> <laughs> That I show it to you guys. Well, what do you think? <laughs> I don't think people are going to respond to that. But, worth a try. You're right, it doesn't look like a devil. <laughs> I draw what appears to be crudely drawn flames <laughs> erupting from his mouth. I go, that's better. <laughs> and uh, I go over to the entrance and I use something, I'm not sure what, to stick it to the wall. Okay. Well, I guess that's a start. And then I go back to the thing and I'm like, oh, damn it. And I write on it. Please let the person playing the lute know <laughs> if you've seen this person. Right. Well, that's about all I got for uh, Intel Gathering. What time is it? Now we just need to wait. I mean, like, in game. Oh, um, like mid-afternoon. Um, I like to get just kind of like bare essentials, like pillows. I mean, we have blankets. I mean, what are you nice. doing though? Like, just getting pillows for, for, for sleeping at the at you the. You can't move in right now. Why? It's being unveiled in a couple weeks. That was the conversation I had with him. I was like, we need a place to stay until then. Oh. So we're not moving in? No. Oh, fine. Never mind. We'll just stay at the tavern for a couple of weeks. I... Uh, I suppose we could do that, sure. <laughs> um... Sawyer's house is abandoned. I would like to go to the... Big squatters. <laughs> Wait, what? The king informed me that an old comrade of mine who once lived here, his house is currently abandoned. You mean Sawyer? Yes. It abandoned? Nobody's there? Apparently not. Well, what about his his daughter and... I don't know. Not my And his mother. <laughs> that was not his mother. I'm pretty sure that was his mother. Nope. Um, anyway, we could be squatters at his house. I would like to go to the barkeep and ask him, have you heard about anything of uh, anyone needing help with anything particular in the uh, go and kill these monsters sort of thing? We're kind of bored, uh, not used to not going out and being adventurers and just wondering if there was like anything that you heard or if you do hear anything, could you let me know? I don't know if I let you know, but times are pretty peaceful. It's countryside seeing a lot of prosperity, and ever since that mist cleared up, it's it's been good times. Very boring. <laughs> All right. Um, and like Granny always said, if you don't take advantage of the good times, there'll be nothing left when the bad times come. True. Go back to playing the blues. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and so you got to have a few weeks before the festival happens, and your your honor, and by expansion, everyone's honor here. Um, so uh, even immediately after speaking to you, there are people heading to the castle and now the castle with different party wares and things like that, and they're obviously planning something huge. Um, you guys have a few weeks of downtime. And uh, we'll figure out what you guys each do during that when we pick up next week. Um, so thank you for hanging out with us. This was kind of an impromptu session because I didn't know what was going to happen. I had a whole bunch of other things planned, but then like that didn't happen. It kind of turned into a wrap-up session, which is kind of fun. Um, so this is a close to this arc. So thanks for hanging out with us during all that. Uh, I had a lot of fun writing it. Um, and uh, the next arc begins next week. So. Oh boy. Yeah, that teleport spell though.
<laughs> I'm just glad I, I rolled high. <laughs> yeah, that could have been um, really bad. So thank you for hanging out with us. Um, if you're a returning viewer, thanks for hanging out with us every week. If you're a new viewer, hello, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, and of course, uh, if you have Amazon Prime at all, just uh, can subscribe to a Trust Channel for free every month. It doesn't renew by itself, so you got to keep doing it every month. That's only the only thing about it. But it helps us out. doesn't cost anything to you. And if you want to send anything else our way, that's also appreciated. But just hanging out with us every week is enough. So we will see you guys next week. And stay nerdy, my friends. <laughs>